I'm Charity and this is Russell Whiting. We're here down in the Sculpture Garden for a River Gallery and we're going to be interviewing Russell about the Sculpture Garden show that we have in the garden right now and we have it up for yeah, the summer, the end of summer. There's no end date right now but we're happy to have them here. So this one's name is Champion and so Russell what was the inspiration behind this piece? Well I was uh trying to make a different narrative instead of having the, uh, you know, across America there are, are champions, males, or generals on top of horses, and I decided, well, heck, let me change it up, and I've been doing this for a long time, is uh, putting a female, uh, what is normally a, a male archetype, I switch it with a female, and that's what I've done here. Is uh, she's come into town and she's she's the champ. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And so, is it a reason you have her standing up, or is it just? Yeah, I like. Uh, I've seen a, a lot of photographs of, uh, of people riding horses, especially in Louisiana deer and Mardi Gras. They have one where uh, they get on horseback, and, they, and one of the things they do is they jump on the back of the horse and stand up like that. So it has a little bit of, of culture of the culture where I live in it too. So I enjoy it. We're going to move on down to this one, and we'll talk a little bit about this culture. This one is Leader, right? This is Leader, and yeah. it's, uh, it has to do with the environment. You know, the, the, fig, the human figure is holding the, a bird, and the bird represents nature. And, it, you know, you, you have to try to guess which one is leading who. You know, who's leading who? It might be the bird, uh, you know, the environment is leading us, or are we going to lead the environment? And so that was my uh, inspiration for this piece. Nice. And uh, is there, did you mention something about mythology with this one too? Or no? uh, if I did, I forgot. Uh, Lita <laughs> and the Swan, maybe? Did you? And, oh, Lita and the Swan. Yeah. yeah. That, you know, once you look at a sculpture, you can start coming up with all sorts of scenarios. <laughs> I mean, it never ends. And actually, I've gotten to the point where I don't really say that much anymore because it's all been said a million times. You know? I mean, that's the good thing about art, and the fun thing is, like, once you put it out in the world. Yeah, it's yours, and you do what you, it's what you think it is, you know, I like that yeah. aspect of, of art, too. It's up to the viewer to, to have, a, have a little interpretation of it, too, which, is, which you learn things, too, about, like, what you're making when other people look at it, which is so fun. That's right, that's why I'm really concentrating on the making of things, the working with different materials. Uh, try to use unorthodox approach to you know, working those materials and that's really the most interesting aspect of sculpture for me. Coming up with the, the narratives and the, the stories about the figures are secondary for me. So that, that once again leaves it up to the person that's looking at the piece to decide what they think about it. Alright, and so while we're on it, let's talk about your process. So, how do you make these? Well, this, this piece is made out of uh, two inch uh, plate steel and I, I take the big sheets of steel they're you know thick like this and I cut out sort of a silhouette of this figure and I, I cut out several of them and I stack them side by side until I get the width of the piece that I want it to be and then I use the oxyacetylene torch and I carve the, the piece out of it so it's a subtractive it's not most sculpture steel uh, most metal sculptures you see will be you know cast in a foundry or fabricated this is actually carved which is a unique uh, technique that uh, I've been working with it for you know 30 something years now so yeah very very much like a carving and yes. very what inspired by Giacometti uh, a little bit but not you know not maybe with right. the textures you yeah, know but textures. but actually uh, the textures that are on here are they they are uh, derived by the torch itself. Mm -hmm. It's really, I, I light the torch and from then on, it's the torch, you know? Yeah. The torch really gives you all these little surprises and, you know, things are out of control. It's almost chaotic that, uh, and, and then you're always amazed by what comes out of it, you know? That's what I like about it. It's those happy little accidents that yeah. happen. Yeah. And, and it's over and over. They happen all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it's also, like when that ac accident happens, Yes. So it's a fun. Heavy. I'm heavy into problem solving. I like. <laughs> yeah. it. I like it because you know yeah. these aren't 
really light pieces. These, like most bronze pieces will be hollow and they're much lighter. These are very heavy so you have to kind of to work it and you have to know how to solve the problems of getting it from A to B and, and I, I like that aspect because I'm such a blue collar guy, you know, that fits right in there. You know what I, mean? I love your sense of expression with your faces. Well, the faces are a whole other story. You know, I don't do a sketch, I don't look at a photograph, I just start. And this and the faces come out and I've never done the same one twice. They're always different looking people. Mm -hmm. And they always kind of look uh, convincing, you know? So yeah. it's I don't know how and the and the torch uh, the torch just provides that with me and I just kinda enhance it a little bit with a little bit of grinding. Mm -hmm. And then I leave the rest of the body pretty much as it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah but I mean in the face too but in the gestures like you have such simple I've noticed that people really, yeah. they really like the elegance of the figures, and you know that's all based on, you know, back to uh, you know, uh, influences by dance, by ballet, by all kinds of stuff. You know, that these, these, these blue lines come. You know. Stunning. All right, we have one more story to go, and then we're gonna walk over to you. What is this one? This is uh, this is that. And it's another uh, archetype that has been changed to a female, from a male. You know, Atlas is the, the, the titan that held up the, uh, the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I've changed it and the uh, circle represents the world. And this one I did a little different. I, I, you can see how thick these, these pieces of steel are. Mm -hmm. Well, I buy these pieces of steel in, uh, you know, four by 10 foot sections and they're this thick, they weigh Tons. And so, I, that's, so this one I did differently. I stacked it up each piece. Of, uh, I, I've never done that before, so that was an interesting uh, uh, variation. I like doing it. I'm to do some more like that. It also reminds me of kind of the Egyptian uh, works, you know, like pyramids and and the sculpture, the huge sculptures that are made out of blocks, where you can still see the blocking. You know, even though they're totally carved out, you can still see how it was made, what it was made out of. And that's what I try to do with every one of my sculptures, show you how this is made and what it's made out of. Because that's important to me. I mean, that's, this is the, these materials changed my life. Well, uh, because I could do things with them that most other people can't. And that allowed me to be unique and I guess that's why I survive as an artist, you know? So it, that's how it changed my life. It, it, if I were probably a painter or, or a Drew, I probably would not be an artist. Or if I was, I'd be like part-time or something, you know? But this, these uh, steel pieces actually allowed me to make a living and, and, uh, and express myself in ways that I could never do with a canvas. Not me, I know other people. You know. solid disc. Uh, I like the idea of a, a circle because it, it, it has a meaning of uh, eternity, you know, never ending. Yeah. And that was, uh, that's, and I've done those in a lot of the sculptures that I make. Uh, I, I have s symbology through it. And that, that was what I did. favorite place to show. I mean, it's, how could you have anything better than this? You know? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We love having you. Right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Alright, y'all, come down to the River Gallery and walk